Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a precision test with my CNC Mogul 6.0 router that I just built. Um, I'm, going to, I'm going to be recording this with my phone, so forgive the shakiness. Um, I just have a block of wood mounted on some steel, just, just bolted to it. Uh, we're going to be making that shape hopefully today, and then measure tolerances, whatnot, compare SolidWorks to uh, what the machine actually cuts out. Uh, we'll be using Mach 3 on an older desktop with a parallel connection connected to the router. I'll go ahead and load the G-code. Alright, Mach 3 gives you a small preview of what's going to be cut here. And we should be good to go. So I will just hit the cycle start button. The vacuum is obviously off, so there will be quite a few chips left down the road.
I set the phone down for a quick second. All right, so the outer diameter of the circle. We have a diameter of four inches. So here we have 3.9690 oh. Once we actually get the full diameter, diameter of the circle with 39835 Let's try this way again About three nine six. Three nine seven. I also noticed that this shape wasn't quite matched up to what uh, SolidWorks had. That's simply just a G code issue. I tried to highlight it when I was uh, cutting on Mach 3 that the machine wasn't telling it to, or the Mach 3 wasn't telling it to cut a full circle on this end here. But uh, a few more measurements, we can uh, find the distance between the two shapes. Minimum distance is one point. 1.08. Let's increase the tolerance here a little bit. Alright, there we have 1.0778. You can read that, there we go. Looks like we're at about 1.09 or 1.1 about. And then since the uh, the slot didn't cut out correctly, I uh, I don't think I'm gonna measure that. I can measure the sides. Distance is three quarters. Looks like we're about point seven three. The depth of these two shapes should be about half of an inch. Point 
0.51 about, 0.52 there. Let me get this straight. About 5,000 is off there. Pretty close there. Going back to the beginning, see about another 2,000 off, 1,000 off maybe. So all in all, not terrible. Um, a lot of these can be set up, which I haven't done yet, in the motor tuning part of Mach 3. Um, you are supposed to just take a caliper or dial gauge or dial indicator and um, and measure uh, basically how much the machine moves compared to how much you measure and uh, set it up that way. I have not done that yet. This is just basically right out of the box, uh, which I'm pretty happy with for now. Maybe in the future someday I will calibrate my machine, um, but for now, uh, that's all.